So I'm in a Cat D5 K2 XL model with slope assist. You can see under the cover there on the blade, it's got a sensor there for slope assist. This is the screen in the cab where I get to set my target main fall on the left hand side and my target uh, cross slope or blade slope actually, target blade slope on the right hand side. So these are my current values, zero, close enough to 0%, 0 0.1% 0 uh, main fall. This is indicating that uh, the 0.1% is nose up. I've got 2.6% currently across the blade as measured by the sensor. That's left tip down. And these are my target values here. Um, so I want to set zero um, on my target main fall. I'll just back out here. So I've got a square blade. Um, I'm pushing out a level pad. Here I've got a bit of a windrow of material there. Um, but I'm trying to push out a level pad. So square blade. I want 0% target main fall, um, so that box is highlighted at the moment. I can use the arrow keys to change the highlighted target. If I do that, I can edit the cross slope. Um, or if I want to, I could wind that down or up to a desired target. Or if I just want to take what my current measured main fall is and make that my target, so I want zero as my current, I want to make it my target. I can hit this bench button that sets my target main fall to the current main fall. So for a level pad with a square blade, that's what I want my target set to. 0% main fall, 0% cross slope. So we're ready to get underway. This is the auto button yellow one so into autos the indicators go green so I'm going to start powering up and as I travel along slope assist is controlling the blade pitch also the tilt to maintain those targets. The end of the run into reverse, it comes out of auto. I raise the blade using the joystick and I back up for my next pass. So I'm ready to go again on my next pass. So I'm out of reverse, into forwards, lower the blade manually, get it close, engage the autos, and I'm ready to go again. So I'm just watching the corner tips of my blade, see where the material's coming. to the corner tips of the blade that I'm using to work out whether I've still got material in the blade. So we're going to come to the end of it. I'm going to see if the material stopped, stopped coming out from the left tip of the blade. There we go. No material under it. I've gone over the fill face. So I stop. Into reverse and it's out of autos.